in the universe. So wow. we're creating a technology that no platform has ever been able to create. So give them till the end of the year for it to work well, first of all, let's be honest, right? Um, and second of all, the technology is such that, so you'll have different types of leads, right? There's leads you might put in from somebody that you met at a happy hour or an opening, uh, open house or whatever. And then you might have Facebook leads coming in. Well, you can, because they'll be tagged differently because you see when a lead comes in from command that it's tagged as Facebook, you'll be able to say, hey, when I get a Facebook lead coming in, I want automatically for them to be put on the Tyler Shields version of the smart plan. You'll be able to do that. So it is so cool that they're inventing something that doesn't exist, but be careful to wait a little bit on that. And so I'm not going to talk much about it until I know it's working well. And for those of you that want to go kick the beehive and go play around with it, uh, reach out to Andrew on that or reach out to Ryan on that and they'll keep you in the now and uh, we'll get a little crew of, of uh, early adopters working on it. Cause that is brilliant because let's be honest, lead response, lead follow-up is like 28th on my list of favorite things to do. How about you? Right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really it's overwhelming. Cool. It's overwhelming too. It is. And then all of a sudden you drown in those leads and you think about it, Darlene, with all the things you've done in your career, all the things I've done in my career, how many leads have we like dropped the ball on? Well, probably 75%. Yeah. Like really, like honestly, because we're now business people, especially the higher your D, <laughs> the more mm -hmm. like, I only want to talk to now business. Well, mm -hmm. the truth is, if you look at your database, you guys just think about this for a second. Let's just say you have a database of 100 people. There's about 10 in that 100 that either need you this year or need to at least have a conversation with you this year because they're contemplating something or they know someone in their immediate COVID circle that needs you this year. Really? And then you've got the 90 that don't need you, but you got to stay in relationship with. So in 2021, when they do need you, they use you. So it's a game. And yet the automation that you put behind you will make you not ignore those 90 people um, or lose that 75% of opportunity. And that's the challenge you guys face. So by, by using command, even if all you do, you guys, is use those neighborhood nurtures, you're already a thousand percent better as a realtor than most of us ever have been in our careers. Absolutely. Those, uh, the command is like a big net, you know, that's for, you know, you can separate your fish and, you know, it's, and it doesn't, it doesn't drop them, you know, as long as you put them in. Well, and that's the thing. So, so, you know, just, just think of your goal is to be, you know, and Darlene's a legend in the industry. I'm a legend in the industry. Judy Popes is, Donna, is several of us, we've been around the block more than once, right? And through many, many, many different markets. If we would have had this from go, and yet just yeah. know that you're lucky to have this, and yet it's far from perfect, but it's free. And I just hired a, a whole team that's coming over that's spending four grand a month trying to build something like this out and it doesn't work at all. So as is, this team is like, this is already working a hundred percent better than what we're spending four grand a month trying to piecemeal. And the thing is, is they've discovered by trying to piecemeal it together, it'll never work because there's too many human error moments. And you still have to be like, you're still the system because the lead comes in here and then someone has to take it from here and go remember to put it over here. And then they got to remember to call them and someone needs an ISA now because, you know, and it's like, blah, blah, blah. So just know where you guys are headed. It's a, it's a, it's kind of like Star Trek here, people. It doesn't exist. And yet, um, you know, that new feature of having auto response based off of what kind of lead coming in is pretty brilliant. Meanwhile, they've really spent a lot of energy getting the best conversion plans from the best converters in the country. And so if you go back to, and I'll just quick show while I'm talking, if you go back in here, um, let me just bring up one more link because I got like 20 tabs open here. If you just go back in here, you'll see the number of smart plans that actually are in existence now 
is overwhelming. And that is why when you go to smart plans, you have my smart plan. So that's like your own little library. And then you have um, the library, which is everybody's uh, smart plans. So just remember, you can filter what you are looking for, depending on what kind of lead you got. Is this like a soon lead? You know, is this someone that's just browsing that had no interest in talking to you? You know, you can kind of identify uh, what you're looking for. Now, here's my only advice. Don't pick the two star rating. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would. But, you know, if someone if you've got all these other agents giving it five stars in terms of uh, the rate, that's that's probably the better, better one to choose. And yet you can go in here and see that other people have already put together all of these conversion plans for you. And these are really, really, really rock star agents that have been vetted to let their smart plan be put in here. Just think of that for a second. So you guys don't need to go create anything. Go rip off the ones that others have already created. Yeah, open the library, right? Yeah, open it. Maybe go spend 10 minutes and go save a bunch. And then that way you can have those ready to go. So just know that I think that makes us so special culturally that when someone's kicking butt on something, they're like, let me show you how I did it. Let me give it. Hey, let me just give it to you. You know, um, you know, you have that. And yet you guys are you guys are in the you're, you're in a position in real estate right now that no one else is. And so I just wanna make sure you're aware of it because we have a lot to be grateful for. So even though there's some clunky factors and I know opportunities is such a pain in your butt, you guys, we're so working on trying to figure out how to make it easier for you. And we know that it's getting better every week and wish, and wish we could uh, do something faster for you. And yet um, we even thought about like going in and fixing your files for you, but the ad, we don't have the rights to do that. So, so you just gotta hang tight with us because we're going through some bumpy times. And yet these are some of the best future times ahead of us um, with, the, with the system. So just be, just be aware of it. And I honestly don't care if you use any part of it other than just being better with your database. I mean, obviously you got to push your closings through um, to get paid under opportunities, but if all you do is literally put everyone you meet into your database and put them on a neighborhood nurture and guess what neighborhoods they would maybe be interested in if you don't know, you know, you don't need to be perfect. So let's just say I met all of you, um, this next month in many different ways. Um, and I, I had the opportunity to talk with you. Something I would say is that I'm really excited about real estate because it's really changing. Because isn't it? Hasn't everything changed? Well, and then you say, and I have the news estimate. And I'd love you to see it. What's an email that I can send it to you? You don't even have to ask where they live. You don't even have to ask what address, zip code, whatever neighborhood they live in. You can say, and when I give this to you, you'll have the ability to control it from your side and, and basically do any type of research about the real estate market in any neighborhood in America. And I'd love for you to try it out. And you just zip it there and just put them on a neighborhood nurture. Now, what I'm going to tell you is do bi-weekly because once a month isn't enough for most people to play along and just go pick three or four neighborhoods that are popular. Don't get, if you don't know where they live, you know, don't be creepy and say, okay, what's your address? <laughs> you might turn them off. Right. And yet say like, what area do you live in? Oh, Trinity. Is there a particular neighborhood in Trinity that you love? Or let me ask you this. If you were to move, what neighborhood would you, what's your dream neighborhood? I'll add that to the list. You know, you just have conversations like this, you guys just put people on neighborhood nurtures and you're off and running. And really all you're doing then every day is going to your database. And this is literally how easy your day, your routine could be. You go to your contacts, now, I don't have anybody on Neighborhood Nurture, so this is going to look kind of wimpy, but I'm just going to hit last visited. And that's my peeps that have been, I'm sorry, last contacted. That's my peeps that I've been interacting with. And then I would make a point to just reach out to those people today. Hey, Alexa, what's going on? You know, this one, she just passed her test. So that's why she comes up. But in your situation, it's going to show who's been 
opening the neighborhood nurture, who clicked on a few properties. And when you get those clues, um, that's all you need to have your conversation, right? And you don't have to say, hey, Darlene, do you want to go look at that house that you clicked on on my website? Say, hey, Darlene, did you get a chance to check out Real Estate 2.0? You know, what were your thoughts? And then you start a conversation, say, hey, with 2020 being behind us, what are your plans for 2021 for your life, for your, for your home? You know, and are you thinking of updating anything? Are you thinking of refinancing? Are you thinking of moving? You know, do you want another bathroom? You know, you know where are you at? And so these are conversation starters. And so the, tr the truth is, is that's your role. That is your job. If you look at your job every week, it's how many conversations did you have? So these are great ways to kind of strike conversations. And yet um, everybody's yearning for conversations. So if you're still struggling to get out and have these, it's probably because your bucket's empty or you're tying something to it than different than it really needs to be. Because this could also be a text. This could be also a video message. This could also be an email, but if it was email, I'd embed a video message so that it actually gets read and looked at. Um, so the method of your communication should match the relationship. And so if I haven't spoken to you in 2021, you know, you might just start with a, a little Facebook message or, hey, how are you? It's been too long. Let's catch up. You know, so you can warm things up with people. It's not like you just have to do this. And yet, if you wanted to, you could also create a video, just kind of like what I role played for you guys, send it out, and then just start putting people on neighborhood nurtures without having a conversation, just to, just to get things going. So just ideas for you. And if any of you are getting stuck on this or are kind of frozen in moving forward on this, reach out so we can help you because we care about you. And we, we know that this is really critical for you to, to have these conversations. Kristen, that was number one. So number one was you're excited about the new triggers. What's number two? <sighs> So I um, received a text from somebody that I was thinking, I was thinking about moving and then they, I showed them property. They, they decided not to, then they decided to like buy like a cabin and I referred them to somebody in that area. I checked in with them yesterday. You know, are they, get, are you taking good care of you? And they're like, oh, we're going a different direction. But, um, and then, so this way we're going to be saving money and I'm going to give it to my daughter to buy a house and I'm going to tell her she can only have the money if she uses you as a real estate agent, Kristen, Yay! because I'm with you. So, I mean, like, it was like a really feel good, like, you know, that is, that is like the, a huge compliment, right? Mm -hmm. So that was one of them. And then I got another text that was like, oh, I would like to, you know, learn more about this house. It's a friend of my daughter. And I'm like, okay. And then come to find out that um, I end up with a listing appointment tonight because she nice. has to sell and then buy. So yeah, so she wants to sell and buy. Very cool. Well, those are all good things. So congratulations. And yet if you wouldn't be putting yourself out there, you wouldn't have had those at bat. So just remember, it's about putting yourself out there. And you guys, here's the thing. Um, if you are feeling like, um, eh, eh, meh, anyone? Can I meh? It's your energy. And you know, when you think about it, when your bucket's empty, you have nothing to give out. So if you're having a hard time, like saying, oh my God, Jess, your energy, you're too positive today. I can't deal with you. Um, that's understandable. <laughs> and I didn't even have my chocolate yet. So watch out people. Um, it's December 2nd. So we're opening door number two. Um, but the thing is, 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 you know, I'm re I was reminded during coaching yesterday because I'm being coached to be a better coach that our energy level really dictates everything, our mindset, everything. So Thursday, I'm doing a visionary exercise of lots of questioning. It's a lot of it's a lot of self reflection. Um, for any of you that might really need that right now, just join me Thursday at eleven, and I'm going to help you kind of break through because what you have to remember is. And, and depending on how much you believe in your mindset and, and the power of it is, is it, it's the real deal. If you, if you are in a scarcity mindset and it's not a, a bad thing to say that you are, it's a very reasonable thing to be in right now, you guys. But if you have a scarcity mindset or you're in fear or anxiety, or if you're losing sleep or you're nervous or your stomach is kind of like just butterflies, 
um, there are some real simple daily things that you can do uh, to completely eliminate that. And it will have such a massive trajectory in your day and your positivity. And I want to help you guys break through that. And I know that we're all uh, dealing with that more than we ever have in our lives this year. I myself am a very positive person. And I found myself a couple of times really just wiped, wiped out. Like I didn't have it in me. And um, I'm sure you guys might feel the same. So Thursday, that's I'm pouring my little heart into you guys at 11. I'm working on um, the exercises today. And um, I just want you guys to know that we're passionate about you getting where you need to be and, and don't hide out. If you're struggling at all, just you know, reach out to us individually and we'll help you. Um, the other part to that though is one of the things that has happened this year is our plans have got canceled. Who has had something canceled, right? I, you know, I noticed it on our calendar because I always write like our stuff. I went through our calendar and since like April, it's like blank. <laughs> it's like nothing happened. And because I have to do the calendar, well, I don't have to, but I enjoy doing this ca calendar for our family every year with these cheesy pictures. And I also realized we didn't take any pictures of ourselves this year. Um, and so, you know, I was talking to my coach about this and they're like, you know, when you don't have things to look forward to, it's really easy to get on autopilot. So has anyone felt Groundhog's Day this year? Oh, yeah. Like, I can't remember August. I, I just decided that blessings were coming. Like I was like, I'm, I'm started meditating and I focused on this collecting for, for metropolitan ministries. And I just decided there's a lot of good stuff going on for me also. And I just decided, you know what, there's just blessings coming and that's all there is to it. So I completely, you know, that energy and that mindset, I believe in that 100%. Well, but the thing is we're in control. So you can either let this all happen to you or you can take the reins. Now, it doesn't mean you can go plan a big party. We get that. <laughs> you know, you're not, you're not going to change and have everybody, you know, start doing the things that you're used to. And yet there's other things that you can plan. So in the absence of having a plan, you just go on autopilot and accept what comes at you. And that's why we do business planning every year, you guys. So I want you to know, Gary Keller has two national business planning clinics that they put on, they're putting on on the 7th and 8th. They're short because they also realize that the old business planning class, which is an all day experience, and it's really highly interactive and it's great because you kind of walk out of there with all your exercises done. It's great and all, yet it's all day <laughs> on Zoom. So they have two shortened versions um, this week on the 7th and 8th, this next week, and they're in the middle of the day, it's like from one to five, and it's Gary Keller level uh, business planning. So if you go to KW Connect and just go, at the go look, look at the calendar for the week, you'll see it. So if you would benefit from that, great. Now this is what I wanna do. I'm gonna put, I put the whole class in Cliff Notes. Um, let, me get you, let me get to this. So if you're like me and you don't necessarily like going to the whole class all the time, um, I have, where is it? I got it here somewhere. I got to find it because I want to put it in the chat for you guys. I took the, the main exercises from, um, oh, stop share here. Let me just, let me just put the file in the side here. You're going to need to download this file. Uh, before I shut down this meeting, otherwise you won't be able to get at it. Let me, okay. Here is the cliff notes for the business planning workshop. And it's all the four different exercises you do. So for those of you that just need to like print this out and start writing in your plan, here you go. Um, what I'd suggest is if you need inspiration with that, Gary Keller is gonna be with you with Jay Papazan and then some national rock stars the seventh and the eighth for the National Business Planning Clinic. They're gonna zip through a lot of this very quickly. It's gonna be more of a bucket filler than the worksheet and the exercises. You also have um, the opportunity, if you prefer to do all these exercises in the true workshop style, the fourth, we have Jeff Borum by Zoom. And, and Jeff has taught this class many times. He does a really great job. So here's remember, if, if you don't, um, 
if you don't have a plan, you're likely to be on autopilot for the rest of the year. And when you don't have control, that's when anxiety creeps in. That's when fear creeps in. That's when like bad juju in your brain creeps in. And so I'm going to really encourage you to get a plan, have a plan in front of you. So you have not only something to look forward to, but that that is something you are in control of. This white noise all around you is kind of irrelevant because you're not in control of it anyway. You're not in control at all. You're only in control of what you you have. Now, the last pitch I'm going to give you is if you won't do that, do a 411. At least put something in front of you that you're going to do. Now, this is a real easy, cheesy sample that I put together um, when I'm coaching because a lot of people have never done a 411 and I put an example. So this would be an example of someone that wants to do 24 closings in 2021. And, you know, usually I'm like, definitely get a TC, you know, don't try to do all the paperwork on your own. Um, hire out the mark, you know, this was an example, maybe they hire out some of the marketing or the Facebook ads or something through the office when we open the blended model and maybe, you know, they have a family vacation. So that's kind of what their year snapshot is. And then every month, this is what they, they are committing to do to support that outcome. And then each week, what are you doing? This is a really good rhythm to get into. And I do this Monday mornings or Sunday nights, depending on my weekend. If I'm kind of getting ready for a busy week, I might do it Sunday night and get like my little plan in place. And I can tell you this, this has been a big part of my success for the last 17 years as a team leader, because most team leaders are in the role for about two years. Um, you can see... These are, this is four one ones. This is my whole year. I'm really nerdy. I staple them together. <laughs> so I literally do this every week. And it's so that I have a plan, that I have a focus, I have an intention. And so when life tries to hijack me with all this crazy that we're dealing with, I have something that I am in control of. And it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good to cross the things off I did. Sometimes I add things on that I did just so I can cross them off. <laughs> so if you're like me, uh, you'll, you'll really benefit from that. And yet wherever you're at, that's okay. And yet at the same time, I wanna remind you that um, you're gonna have anxiety and you're gonna have doubt and you're gonna have all the crud that comes with it if you don't take control. So think about how you're going to get your mind straight for 2021, know that you've got business planning, the fourth, which you can go on Ubaldini training calendar and register for. You've got it on the seventh and eighth on KW Connect with the national. Um, you have me Thursday at 11, if you just need your brain kind of straightened out and, and how you're thinking and how you're feeling. Um, there's so much you can do. If you need a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, just call the office and we'll find a great person to meet with you and just get a plan. If you don't have one though, the likelihood of you running at 2021 with gusto is pretty low. And yet you guys all have the ability to do that. So keep that in mind, you're in control. Any, any questions on that? Now, Kristen, I see, I downloaded it. If anyone does not get it downloaded, I'll be happy to send it. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, so this is really the cliff notes. If you look this this uh, that actual handouts, like golly, like 80 pages or something. Um, we can, you know what? Let me just do the whole file. Why not? Jess? Yes. If one of us wanted one, that one-on-one, -on -one, how quickly could that happen? It depends on your production level and who we'd have you meeting with. So um, just okay. reach out to Michelle. If you're okay. new to the business, you'd be with a productivity coach. Um, okay, I gave the whole workbook. Um, and um, what I would suggest that you do if you're going to do a one on one is put some thought into what you want, because we can't we are we can ask you great questions help pull it out of you. But you need to know something about what you want, you know, put a little put a little brain time on it. Okay. Now I, um, I really get into my vision boards. And it's so funny because I have my um, let me turn my background off so you guys can see it. I have my 20 20 vision board. And um, I feel like I just should just write 2021 on it. <laughs> just call it good. Because I, I didn't do much of this. Um, 
most of it got a lot of the things I was going to do like trips and things got canceled. Um, and most of it's pretty much still true. Um, but I am going to do a new one because I think it's kind of like a ritual. So if you, if you are into this and you want to do this, we've got a couple different groups of people that are going to get together at different times um, to do that. And this last attempt that we made became more of a happy hour than, <laughs> than a vision board exercise. So if you want to uh, reach out to me and let me know that you want to, and I'll let you know when we're all getting together. So just uh, shoot me an email, put vision boards, and that way I'll know um, to make sure we get you in the group crew. Um, I'll probably do one at my house uh, in like late afternoon. Um, and then, uh, we'll probably do one at the office too. So, okay. It's nine o'clock. It's hump day. It's Wednesday. I'm going to be on zoom all day today. So send me some good mojo. I'll need it. I'm doing, uh, basically budgeting. So if anyone wants my job for the day, can be I, a love budgeting. I love budgeting. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> I at 12 years old. I made myself 30 year budgets. That's how much of a geek I am. <laughs> okay. Well, I need more Kristen rubbing off on me. Who else? <laughs> Right. Um, so just remember, we care about where your mindset is and you're in control. And yet this has been the toughest year I've ever experienced in my whole life. And I was talking to my father, who is 76, I believe. He said this was the toughest one he's ever been through, too. So I don't care how old you are or how young you are. This has been a real interesting, fascinating year. And guess what? We got like 28 more days, baby. 28 more days. So let's already get 2021 going on a high level. And again, it starts with you. So if you need anything, it's for you to reach out to us because we're here for you and have a powerful day, guys.